As an actor, you learn a lot of lines. So how's best to do it? I've previously worked as an understudy and I've had to learn every character in a play. That's eight different parts. So I've learned a thing or two about picking up lines and retaining them. In this video, I'm going to offer up some tips and techniques to help get those lines in your brain faster and more effectively. Speak them. It goes without saying, pun intended, but make sure you speak your lines out loud when you're learning them. Don't memorize them silently in your head. When you're speaking text, you're also activating your muscle memory in your face and in your mouth, and it will help your brain and your body remember what you're saying. One at a time. You can try the standard idea of learning one sentence or one thought at a time. Read it a few times, speak it a few times, check it, then move on to the next. Or another technique is to work on memorizing one word at a time and building up each sentence that way. Say the first word out loud and then add the next one and work through till you have the whole sentence. The, the effect, the effect of, the effect of my, the effect of my intent, the effect of my intent is, the effect of my intent is to, the effect of my intent is to cross, the effect of my intent is to cross theirs. The effect of my intent is to cross theirs. This may feel a bit mechanical or robotic, but there is no denying that this simplistic repetition and building block approach makes the words go in your brain. So give it a go. Take them for a walk. Try and get outside with your script. It can be down the park or in the garden. Give yourself physical space and fresh air to move around and learn in. If you're inside and sat down, your body and brain will easily relax, switch off or get distracted. Whether it's walking laps of your garden or taking a stroll around the park for an hour, being physically active when you're reading and learning lines will really help. When I used to work on The Woman in Black in London, I'd walk from Victoria Station to the theatre every day and would speak through the entire play on my journey. Despite the occasional funny look, it was a fail-safe way to cement all those lines. Use different spaces. If you stay in your bedroom or one single space, your brain might start associating lines to that room. So when you leave that space, those lines will be harder to recall. By finding variety in your line learning space, the lines will go deeper into your brain and won't be associated purely on the visual world of the room you were in when you learnt them. You may be surprised when you change space for the first time how the lines feel more distant. So make sure you work in different spaces. Run them with someone else. When you're fairly confident with the lines, make sure that you read the scene or run the lines with another person. I'm no psychologist, but I know that something happens in your brain when you do this for the first time. The lines always seem harder to remember when you're listening and responding to another person. Simply, with another person, I think you start using a different part of your brain. If you're only saying them to yourself, when you work with another person at an audition or a rehearsal, it's really gonna throw you. Interacting with another person and reading with them is a vital step to success with line learning. Sleep on it. For me, I struggle to absorb lines and then recall them the same day or later that day. I think they only go as far as my short-term memory. I always find that lines stay in my head after I've slept on them. I think they soak in more. So don't stress about not being able to remember them on the same day. Spend a session on them in the afternoon or evening, then the next day when you wake up, I bet they'll be in your head much more accurately. Alphabetizing lists. If I have a list of words in a sentence, I always try and learn that list of words in correlation to the alphabet. Now, this is a little thing that only maybe I do, but it's helped me a lot. So if I have this line, it felt fresh, moving, intelligent, and amazing. What I do is mentally plot those words in relation to the alphabet. So it goes from F forward to M, then back to I, then back to A. This is like sequencing it or putting it into a pattern. It's like creating a shortcut to the order of the words by memorizing how the list of words correspond to the order of the alphabet, rather than just imagining four random words. Work on paper. Working with a paper script is much more effective. By holding the words in your hands, it creates a physical, tactile relationship and helps dissociate your brain from endlessly doom scrolling through social media. On devices, your brain and eyes don't automatically retain and learn information. 
Everything you see goes into your short-term memory and is quickly replaced by the next thing. So reading off a paper copy is much more useful to help your brain differentiate between those two worlds. Plus, on paper, you can highlight, underline, scribble, make notes in pencil and do whatever you want to visually stimulate the lines on a page for you. And then you can recycle the paper afterwards. Write them out. Try writing out your lines with pen and paper. By physically creating the words on a page, you're forming a deeper connection to them. You're putting them in your body, so to speak. You're crafting your lines rather than just recalling them. After you've written them out, compare them to the original script and you can easily spot any inaccuracies to correct. Actioning. Use actioning, which in essence is an acting method of doing something to someone else on each line. An action might be, I attack you, I excite you, I destroy you. By assigning an action to each thought or sentence, you're embedding an idea into it, something positive and active into each line of text. This will help you recall the line because you've made a deeper investment in it, rather than just learning the words at a basic surface level with nothing active attached to it. Make sure you get this book, The Actor's Thesaurus, and learn how to action text as an actor. I think it's an invaluable tool and will really help learning lines. Record it. Use the voice recorder on your phone or a dictaphone to record your lines and listen back to them. I think one of the best places to listen back to it is on your commute on a train or bus. Probably best not to when you're driving as it can be dangerously distracting. When listening back to them, you can speak along with them, mouth or mime along with them, or just listen along in your head. This is a slightly more passive way of getting your lines in, but nevertheless, I think it's a useful, flexible and effective technique. Be like Anthony Hopkins. Legendary actor Anthony Hopkins reportedly reads a script hundreds of times. He reads it again and again and again. And by reading it this amount of times, the lines absorb themselves into his subconscious, almost through osmosis. By reading a script so many times, you'll not only know the lines incredibly well, but you'll understand them in huge detail and be able to find every nuance in the text. Anthony Hopkins also learns a new poem every week as a memory exercise. So do just that. Find a 16 line or so poem and learn it. I suggest using different styles of poetry, some old, some new. If you don't know where to find poetry, these are some of my favourite poetry books. Learning a weekly poem like this will help keep your brain fit and active. So when you don't have a lot of time or you have a lot of lines to learn, your brain will be well trained and practised at how to absorb text effectively. Line learning apps. There are several apps available for recording your voice, saving and sharing scripts on your device. A popular one for line learning is called, unsurprisingly, Line Learner. There's a free version called Line Learner Lite and a paid version that costs $3.99 on the App Store. This app allows you to record in all your lines as well as the other characters' lines. You can then play them back, give yourself prompts, you can loop sections or repeat scenes over and over to help embed them. This is a great solution if you don't have a lot of space or other people to read in with you. It takes a little time to record all the text in, but once it's set up and ready, you're off and you can simply run and run them. Remember, everyone's brains work differently and memorize things in different ways. Try as many of these as you can. Adapt them and develop them to suit what's most effective for you. Ultimately, the end goal is the same knowing and understanding the lines accurately and effectively so you can concentrate on playing a scene rather than just focusing on words in your head. If you have any other tips or tricks that you want to share, please put them down in the comments below. Good luck. Thanks for watching. If this video helped you, please give it a like. Do check out these other videos and subscribe. And if you want to support what I do on the channel, you can click on the link in the video description. All the best.